thousands of videos on the internet on how to muscle up with thousands of different techniques. This video might be the only video that you need. I will show you step by step how it's done and compare it with my own progress so you know exactly how to get it. Stick with me till the end and you'll be getting on top in no time. This video will be divided into three main chapters. Firstly, the strength. Secondly, the technique. And thirdly, the question that all of you all have in your mind, how long will it take? So the first chapter, building the strength. So the number one method that I would recommend to build your strength for the muscle up would be by using additional weight. The second method would be using your own body weight. So I'll show you the main method, the first method. I would say that's the easiest method for you to build strength for the muscle up. If you look at the mechanics of a muscle up, it's basically a pull up and a straight bar dip. So if you build up your strength in the weighted pull up and weighted straight bar dip, you should be able to get a muscle up effortlessly. So there was this experiment that was done. You can find it on the channel Geek Climber. He found out that the weighted pull up one rep max for a muscle up was approximately 54% of your body weight. But I find this a bit impractical because of two main reasons. Number one, you might not have that amount of weight if you're not in a gym. And number two, training close to your maximum strength will significantly increase your chance of injury. So my conclusion is if you can do 25% of your body weight for five reps in both these exercises, that's the basic amount of strength that you need. Pull-ups, at least get your chin above the bar and in the straight bar dips, go down and make sure your lower chest touches the bar and push out. Make sure you don't cheat on the range of motion, you should go full range of motion in uh, both of the exercises. Because in order to effortlessly get the muscle up, you must build up your strength in the full range of motion. Okay, so the second approach is gonna be using body weight variations. The main problem that I see with people using body weight approaches in order to gain strength is progressive overload is not clearly seen. The measurability of bodyweight exercises is less compared to weights. When it comes to weights, it's measurable and uh, it's easier to progress your overload. So if you use this approach, the second up the bodyweight approach, make sure you don't cheat on these exercises and do exactly as I tell you to do. So chest to bar pull-ups, explosive pull-ups, parallel bar dips, straight bar dips, 10 chest to bar pull-ups, 25 parallel bar dips, 8 explosive pull-ups, 10 straight bar dips. So I'll show you how the chest to bar pull-up works. bar pull up, attack the bar with your chest, bring your chest to the bar. Your chest should touch the bar and then 25 parallel bar dips will be able to do at least hit 90 degrees when you do this. Eight trips of explosive pull ups. Get a little bit of swing, kind of like the muscle up swing. Go a little forward, like dip inside and pull yourself up and pull the bar to your lower chest. So kind of like a pull of the muscle up. It should look like the pull of a strict muscle up. Finally the straight body. Even here, go all the way down till your lower chest touches the bar and push out. Chapter 2 the technique of the muscle up. So the first thing is gonna be the grip of the muscle up. Then after that I'll be talking about five stages of muscle up. So stage one, two, three, four, and five. I want to grip the bar like this. Pronated grip. And I want to wrap your finger around the bar. And get a shoulder width grip. So for the pull up, you normally use a grip a little bit wider than shoulder width. But for the muscle up, I like to have a shoulder width grip because really the mechanics of the muscle up and the pull up are different. 
in the muscle up movement is similar to you know in the gym you have that uh, cable machine it's like pulling the cable machine from the top down like that like that kind of muscle the first step is called the magic button i saw this talked about by 10x actually and this method really worked for me and it's really one of the best methods to build that technique for the muscle up so get yourself something like this just something to mark a point so just mark a point on the floor it should be about one meter not below one meter <laughs> it should be about one foot from the bar not directly down but like one foot ahead and then i want you to i just keep the mic like this hopefully you'll record the audio well jump onto the bar put your hands shoulder width and then with one foot step in i bring the other foot also step in bring the other foot in step in bring the other foot in and once you get comfortable with placing your feet step with one foot and bring the other foot to that foot once you get comfortable with that just this just that once you get comfortable with that i want you to focus on the stretch over here so where your chest connects with your shoulder at that point you should feel a stretch you feel that stretch by doing this movement in a more dynamic fashion spring it should be a spring like motion you go you go in and you spring back second step is going to be the pull so for this pull i want you to drive with your chest and go up with the momentum step 3 is going to be the transition This is the place which a lot of people struggle in. So a lot of people they can pull themselves up, but the transition becomes a problem. An easy way to get the transition down is once you pull your chest, your lower chest to the bar. I want you to roll your shoulders forward. So get your shoulders like in front of the bar. And the final step of the hip muscle up is to reset. So once you come down, I want you to go back into a dead hang, and then repeat the magic button again. Unlike the strict muscle up, which you dip into and just go back with that same momentum in here. Once you go into dead hang, I want you to keep again and go up. Put it all together, and you got yourself a hip muscle up. So similar to keeping muscle up, but the only thing is without dragging your knees up. When when pulling up in the pull, I want you to go into an L sit. All right. So there is one basic requirement here: you should be able to hold at least a 10 second L sit on the high bar. Keeping L sit muscle up also same. Once you come down, reset, and then keep again. And as you're pulling up, go into an L sit and get yourself above the bar. So a lot of people recommend this as a beginner variation instead of the keeping muscle up. They tell to do banded muscle ups, but I feel the banded muscle up is really good. Once you got the keeping muscle up down, and you want to clean up your form and go into that strict muscle up to understand the dynamics of a of a strict muscle up, get yourself a band. and then wrap the band around the bar and then when you're doing the muscle up the difference is you don't go into the magic button i want you to dip in here all right i want you to imagine a hole imagine there's a hole in the ground and i want you to put both of your feet in to that hole dip your feet into that hole shoulder width and then instead of bringing one foot at a time i want you to take both of your feet together get a slight swing have your toes pointed Go in again. Feel that stretch where your chest connects with your shoulder.
So as you can see, this is really an intermediate between the keeping muscle up and the strict muscle up. Here I go into dip, and once I come back down, instead of resetting, going into a dead hang and doing it again, I want you to dip again. You know, once you come back down, go back again into the dip. So there's no resetting in here. The dip, then the pull, and as you pull, I want you to keep your feet together and not bend your knees. Your legs should be as straight as possible. Try to maintain your legs as straight as possible and focus on pulling your lower chest to the bar. And then get that transition and then dip out. And uh, another key point, strict muscle up is try to make the transition look effortless. It should look like a seamless transition. So once you get around 8 to 10 reps of strict muscle ups effortlessly, I want you to progressively overload. So to do this, do weighted muscle ups, L sit muscle ups, all strip muscle ups, ring muscle ups, different variations of muscle ups basically, slow muscle ups. So by doing this, you will increase your strength in the muscle up and your strict, your normal muscle up will look effortless. Alright, so when you're doing these harder variations, make sure you stick to the lower rep range. So around 3 to 5 reps should do. The main reason why you would watch this is to get it as quick as possible, right? So if you want to know how long it will take, what I would say is, if you have a good strength base, if you can do 5 pull-ups with 25% of your body weight, and 5 straight body with 25% of your body weight, or you can do the body weight variations, which is 10 chest to bar pull-ups, and 10 straight bar dips, and 8 explosive pull-ups, and 25 parallel bar dips. If you have all of that down perfectly, then within one month, you should be able to get it quickly, which was like me, I had that strength base in the beginning, so I was able to get it within one month, it could be muscle up. If you're at the bare minimum strength, which is about 10 pull-ups and 25 dips, then I would say that you will take about 6 months to get the keeping muscle up and if you are below that strength base then you would take around 6 months plus. Alright so that was the full video, make sure you like this video, share this with a friend who might want to muscle up and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like seeing this type of content and since you watched this video till the end I have a gift for you, hit the link in the description and you can download the free ebook of this complete video. So this full video comprehensively in an ebook form which will be very convenient for you, you can share it around with people, you can share it around with your friends. And it just looks really cool. It's absolutely free. So you can click that link and you can download this ebook. If you have any questions about how to muscle up, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll answer everything. I'll answer all of your questions. Thank you. Bye bye.